Hello guys, so this is the workflow that I used to render this gold eye watch. Take a look and please feel free to let me know what you think. So what I did is just add my material in SOLIDWORKS and everything and I just import it directly into SOLIDWORKS Visualize. So I'll leave all the settings the same and click OK. And once my part loads, then the first thing I'll do is snap this to floor and then under the preview option then I want to enable floor shadows and reflection and that is pretty much all I did in this scene and my computer is a little bit slow so I give it a second I don't know why it's acting up now okay there we go so so once I select, select those options, that's all I did in the model tab. Then maybe I'll change this to fast mode so we can see what's going on. So that's what it looks like now. And because I worked on it earlier, I'll just upload the camera that I load the camera that I created. So I'll make this camera just the free camera, the one I used to just rotate around. And I'll just load my camera so I saved it. This iWatch, I'll save it. Open that so that my final render is going to be in this view. So I go back into that free camera. So the next thing is my appearance, and I've applied those appearances in SOLIDWORKS. So what I did is the pretty much with the gold plate and everything, I for this, I actually just used the appearance in, that came with SOLIDWORKS Visualize. Like this gold plate, I just used the aluminum and I changed the color using the color dropper. And I saved those appearance here and I'm just going to start adding them to it. So um, I will show you the settings for this once I apply them. So I apply the gold plate to that and maybe I should start, start up here. So the back is, the back is this, that and that face the bands is that and I apply to that and the back face is on the inside um, it is on the inside of that glass so what I can do is go into my appearance and select that glass and I'm just going to hide it temporary I'm going to hide it so that black face is exposed and I'm going to go back into my library at that and the button is this over here and I'm going to add that to that. The reason why that is, I made that separate from this appearance is because it has a texture on it and it has like that little uh, spiral radio texture and I wanted to be able to add that to the final render. That's why I have those two appearance separate. And we already did this and the decal color, we're going to use that later and what else and over here if you if you look on the eye watch sometimes this part is always shiny so i made a different um material for that which is the same as this but the reflection is just a little bit lower so that part is shiny so that part is shiny and the next thing i need to do is just add my appearance to that one and i believe we almost we pretty much have all the appearance covered the only thing I need to go to is now is back into my appearance and show all appearance so I showed the glass again and on the glass I'm just going to go back into my appearance and add the glass material to that glass maybe I just add it in and the glass is right here I'll just right click on it copy and the glass material is right, right click and assign that glass so all my appearance are pretty much covered and as you can see it looks pretty good for now and i can right click and delete delete all on use texture so now we only have this texture that we are using and that is pretty much the first step and the only thing we need to do is tweak some stuff a little bit so i'm going to and if I switch back to that camera, you can see what it looks like for now. So 
I'm going to go back into that free camera and the next thing I want to do is hide that glass again because I want to apply my decal to the inside so I'm going to right click on this glass and hide it so that is review and maybe I'll go into the preview option then I want to right click over here new decal and I want to select this my decal and select that then I'm just going to drag it to this face and I'll turn on the object manipulation tool and we want to scale that down and let me try that again I think I did something wrong yeah I just slowly drag it to scale it down and something like that then we can move it around to where we want it and I think because I worked on it earlier I the options I have over here is for the decal depth I have 0 0.1 and the decal width I have 0 0.292 and for this one it is 0 0.0359 so those are my options and now I'm just going to use my object manipulation to to move it around to where I want it so maybe something like right there right there looks good and I'm just going while I'm at it still in the preview mode I'm just going to do the back to so for this back instead of modeling the piece in and I found this model on uh, grab card by the way so instead of and the the person that did it I think he did an excellent job and he actually modeled the battery the inside the internal parts in but I pretty much just took it out because I'm just going to add decal let me know what you think about this method so I just create a new decal and this back um, I found this image on Google and I just pretty much delete everything and left just to save the back as a PNG file I'll open that and drag that to this face and again I'll just um, what I can do here is go into the view and I want to show camera palettes and select the back camera I can hide this for now um, the band I can hide that hide that part so now that I'm just gonna stay in that back and with that decal selected I can just scale it down so we see what's going on so maybe I need to re-add that decal again I'm just gonna try it in this view I'm going to new decal select that decal then add it to this face then scale it down I think it looks much better now okay so once I have something like that I'll just move move it center it to pretty much where I want it and I can scale it up so just to this is kind of in the way just so just to move that I can move that and scale it up and move that so it's just pretty much adjusting and I can maybe I should just hide hide this part too. I'll right click on it and hide it for now and I can right click on that button and hide that part for now okay so I'm just going to scale keep adjusting until I'm satisfied maybe now I can go into the fast mode so we'll see what it looks like so that's what it looks like in the fast mode now and once you pretty much adjust it to what you want then then I think I'll just leave that for now just so I don't spend too much time adjusting this so once we have what we want then I can go back into my appearance right click and now I want to show all appear all appearance so that way all my part is in so if I scroll around it you see that battery and on the front you see the glass so the only thing I need to do now is 
add a decal color a texture to that decal oh wow i need to hide the glass again so excuse me so i'm just going to right click hide that glass um, hide part so now i need to add the color to this decal just to and it will be a light and that light is going to make the decal it makes the light shine to the decal just like when you look at the eye wash it seems like the light is shining through the screen so i'm just going to add that light to it and as you can see the brightness has improved and that is pretty much all we need to do and now i can right click here and show all my show all and on the back i need to do the same thing to that decal we just made i'm just going to right click create a new appearance and make it paint and it is going to be all white so i make it all white color and i can just leave it at 10 clear code we can always adjust it later so i'll start with the 10 and just add it to that part so is the that decal is shiny and you can tell by the decal over here and i'll right click just to repeat that one so that's pretty much everything we need to do on the appearance and one more thing we need to do is um, show my camera palette again and view camera palette and I want to be in the front view and maybe I want to hide um, I want so I can I'm trying to exp I'm trying to hide this so I can just show just that one so I'll hide that and then let me turn off my object manipulation to right click and hide that part I pretty much want to hide all this part um, hide that and hide my decal um, so let me see what else I need to hide um, so that decal is right here I can hide it for now and I can hide that texture and hide this appearance and also hide that so what I'm trying to do is just get to this part because I need to adjust this you see how I'm trying to get the radio thing but it's a little bit off to the left so I can right click on it and turn on my object manipulation to and first of all i want to change the texture mapping to planner because it's on that face then i just need to move it to where i want just to center it a little bit so if you look at it maybe i'll go to the camera this camera view if you, if i look at it from there it needs to center a little bit just to show that that radio is starting from the middle something like that so now all I just need to do is show all my texture again and I think we're done with this scene and I'm um, apologize that it took a little it took a while and I went, I'm going to show all and hide this and that is pretty much and you see it looks a lot better and the next thing we need to do is go into the scene and the scene i just pretty much create my own scene this chrome scene looks pretty good with the image and we can hide the background and as you can see it looks really good but i made my own scene so i'm just going to load that scene in and i'm just going to new hdr environment and it's this scene i'm just going to load that in and hide my environment lighting and I can go in here and change this color to 33 and that is 12 and that is 75 and as you can see it looks a lot better and if I go into the accurate mode and everything should looks good 
so that is pretty much all i did um to render that's the workflow i did to render and if you were wondering how i on this appearance this texture mapping for this that is what it looks like all i did is i found an image on google and i just uploaded that image to this site if you upload the image to this site you just upload it here and you can adjust this setting and it gives you the finer and you can pretty much get the displacement ambient occlusion and specular map so that's pretty much how i got those texture map and once i'm done i just render it click render and you click your project name in the folder you want to save it to and i'm going to render this at 1920 by 1080 and maybe the quality i'm going to do 1500 because i have the glass in it and i'm just going to click start render and i would show you what the final result looks like and anyway thank you if you like this method or if there's something i could have done to improve it please feel free to let me know thank you and have a nice day bye